now. After being adapted into a movie starring Anne Hathaway back in 2011, David Nichols' classic book One Day has now been turned into a TV series which is out this week with White Lotus star Leo Woodall in the lead role. Maybe we should just stay here all week. Not island hop, just stay here. Maybe. Do you think you get bored? Happy then? Oh, Leo, <laughs> who plays Dexter. It's so good to see you. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I mean, this is such a beautiful story. I can't imagine anybody doesn't know, but it's a couple that we sort of check in on them mm -hmm. on this mm -hmm. particular day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over what three decades? Uh, two Must, decades. Two decades. Yeah. It was quite. It's quite. It's quite extraordinary because it's such a great premise for a drama, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a very unique story and very. It's lovely. Very unique structure for a story. And what I liked about it, I've been lucky enough to see a couple of them. Sneaky preview. Oh, have you? Yeah. You make him likable because. Oh, he is a bit... Lorraine. You know, you do. He is a bit... Do you know what I mean? It, it I mean, can be a bit of a schweff, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of words we can say and we'll get taken off the air. But he can be a little bit of an, an arse, yeah. frankly, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, I, I'll take that. But you, but you do make him really like... Oh, you make, you understand what's going on with him. Yeah. You know? Well, he's got a big heart. Yeah, and a lot of, much you know, so. things happen to him that, uh, yeah. you know, pretty... I, know. I don't want to give any spoilers. Well, but, this is know. it. We don't. I mean, I know a lot of people have read the book and loved the book. Yeah. And there's always that pressure, isn't yeah. there? When a book is so well loved and everybody's got an image of the person in their head. But you, you do do it proud. You really oh, do. Both of you, you've got a great cast, you. haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Really Amica, was, Amica was amazing and um, we worked very well together. You did. And... There's a nice chemistry. Yeah. You know, that it's good. As a... Because you have to. For something like this, there has to be that trust, doesn't there? Yeah. You've got to trust yeah. each other. And you can see that you yeah. really do. We do. Yeah, we definitely did. And I think we, we knew that, you know, we had this sort of big story to tell and this sort of long journey. So we, we were going to lean on each other a bit. I think it's one of those ones that gets us all thinking how... Because everybody in their life has got the one that got away. You know yeah. what I mean? Or most people have. Yeah, I guess and how so. it would be if you could check in with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just that one day. I Just know. that one day. And hopefully everybody understands. But that, oh, that's... I know, it's a bit of a miracle that something happens. I know. On that day every I year. know, it's, it's extraordinary. <laughs> now, you were coming to the end of The White Lotus when you yeah. auditioned. And there was a wee bit of a there was a wee bit of a hoo ha, wasn't there, with a tattoo? <laughs> Tell me what happened at the audition. Uh, yeah, so I was <laughs> I was filming Lotus when I was doing that audition process, and I flew back to London to do my first sort of in person meeting, and um, I'd forgotten to take off my neck tattoo. My cat. Well, I mean, I say forgot. I kind of liked it, but did you? Um, yeah, I did actually kind of like it. <laughs> you thought it was cool. So yeah, I, I thought it. it was kind of cool. But of um, course, the, the the producers would be like, they oh. had no idea what was going on. So ah. you know, they they thought they liked me, and then I walked in with this sort of huge neck tattoo, which <laughs> wasn't quite right. No, but Dexter. it just rubbed off. It just started coming off. Oh, good. So they yeah, for you. Yeah. So I mean, because you can you can cover them up, but it's a bit of a hoo ha, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think they definitely like thought, look, if this guy's gonna have a cowabunga tattoo on his neck, he's <laughs> probably not going to work. <laughs> but it did. Thank goodness. It was all goodness, fine. It was all fine. goodness it started White coming off. Lotus, what fun you must have had. Yeah. For goodness yeah, sake. Yeah, I know. I know you were, you, were a, you were a cheeky cockney chappy. Cheeky, channeling cheeky your, boy. Channeling your Joey Essex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank God oh, for if you've not, I'll tell you what, if you haven't seen White Lotus, you, you've got to. It's, it's yeah. hilarious. And Jennifer Coolidge, I just feel as if White Lotus, she's always been amazing, mm -hmm. but White Lotus allowed the rest of the world to just see how fantastic she yeah, is. Yeah, she she kind of had a renaissance, didn't she? Yeah, um, really. It's amazing how one show can do that. You yeah, know? It's yeah. a bit like Hannah Waddingham with, um, yeah, you yeah. Know, with the football show with, with Ted, Ted Lasso. Lasso. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. There's this amazing talent. It's been there. Yeah. Been there for ages. Yeah. And then whoosh. I know. Like and she's amazing too. And um, yeah, yeah, Jennifer Coolidge was, she is just a bit of an icon, isn't she? <gasps> I mean, that show went global and all the rest of it, but I feel as if this one is going to be even more. Are you... Are Do you, you think? Yeah, are you braced oh, and man. prepared for global recognition? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's a funny one. I always wonder about that. You know, if you... Because, obviously, um, 
you know, be, being an actor, it's, it's, a, it's a hard, hard job. Yeah. There's a lot of competition. And I know your mum and dad weren't that sure whether it was the right road to go down. Yeah, I know. They were kind of like, oh, OK. My poor mum, I think she's still sort of constantly in a state of oh, anxiety. Oh, no, listen, listen, <laughs> your boy's doing fine. <laughs> he's doing, he's doing just fine. Yeah. But all of that recognition comes with it, doesn't yeah. it? But yeah. sometimes, you know, that's not why you do it. No. But it's just how you handle it. And I think you're yeah. fine. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's something to navigate, I guess, but... No, definitely. Mm. And we've got somebody behind you who we're going to be talking to Hello. very, very shortly, <laughs> our Mia. You two are good pals, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel true life. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. good mates. We worked together a few years ago, so... Ah. See, that's the thing about your job. You meet so many different people, don't you? And then you get really, really friendly, and then you're on to the next project, and it's quite hard to yeah. keep ties. So it's good that you two are still... That. I mean, who wouldn't want to hang out with Mia? Come who wouldn't on. want to hang out with you? <laughs> right, Mia? You. Yeah, right, Mia? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I second that. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, look, great to see you. You too. Brace yourself for, um, yes, for global <laughs> recognition and all of that madness. That's what Evie's going to be talking. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Thanks, Lorraine. And as we